First off, happy Labor Day. I'm Michael Costagrande here with John Talty. We're here to talk about Alabama football. While everyone's enjoying their day off, uh, we're going to take a one more final look back at the Alabama-Wisconsin game. Uh, final takeaways uh, from that one, I guess. John, what was your the biggest takeaway, the biggest thought after kind of digesting and watching that game film? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me was just that the defense somehow lived up to expectations. You know, people talked about how that front seven would be the best basically in the nation this year, and I think kind of showed just how good they were at stopping the run, forcing Wisconsin, which had averaged 320 yards a game last year to try to beat them through the air and just kind of got constant pressure and just really dominated. Secondary, pretty much what we expected there too in that there's talent back there, some areas of improvement. They picked up a couple you know, pass interference calls, which I'm sure Nick Saban wasn't happy about, and things that he said today that they need to improve on. But overall, clearly the defense is going to be a strength of this team and will help them when they have to face some, some tougher competition going forward. Right, and kind of taking that other the other approach, the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I think there were some anxieties were calmed somewhat with the offense. There were there were issues, there were worries about the quarterback play. Would there be uh, inconsistencies? Would there be turnovers? That sometimes was an issue with Coker turning the ball over. There weren't any of those kind of situations, and there weren't even many plays where there were there were near turnovers. He didn't throw the ball into traffic much. Maybe one time, maybe two times, but not any plays where the, the, the defensive backs got their hand on the ball. So uh, I think. It, it was much better than what people maybe were worried about uh, and the issues where people were worried about. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, they, they put 35 points on the board. Uh, no mistakes. So that's going to be it for this week. Uh, for this one, uh, we're going to look ahead to Middle Tennessee State. There's a lot, still a lot more to talk about moving forward uh, for week two now, uh, Alabama's home opener on Saturday.